Hi and welcome to MTG Management. Today we have another episode of our Silk Deck Tech from our booster box opening of 2012 Core Set. So we have already split up the cards into your bombs, your creatures, your spells, and the useless cards. So let's just go through them and see what we have. And these packs are really awesome because we have two mythic, mythic rare. So first up we have our Furyborn Hellkite, 6-6 six, six with Blood to 6 for 7 mana flying. Our awesome dragon. We have our Chandra's Phoenix 2-2 two, two flying with haste. Whenever an opponent is dealt damage by a red instant or sorcery spell, we can return this to our hand from the graveyard. We also have our 4-4 four, four flying volcanic dragon with haste for 6 mana. So looking pretty awesome for our red. And for the red creatures, we have our lightning elemental. Gorhan Minotas, 3-3 three, three with Bloodthirst 2 Our Goblin Fire Slinger Hellhound, Arsonist And Crimson Mage For our raid spells We have Incinerate Fling Shock Goblin Warpin Fire Breathing Act of Treason And Chandra's Outrage Next on to our green cards, we have our Arachna Spinner, our 5-7 creature with reach with a very special ability which is tap and untap spider you control and search for a card named Arachna's Web and attach it to a creature with our rights of flourishing, basically it's a card drawing. At the beginning of each player's draw step, that player draws an additional card and each player may play an additional land. And for our green creature, we have our Kajo Troll, our 4 tree with regeneration, really awesome card. We have our Garuk's Companion, our 3 2 for 2 mana with trample, our Rune Claw Bear, which is our bear. We have 2 Vast Wood Gorger, 5 6 for 6 mana. We have our Sacred Wolf, 3 1 Hexproof for 3. We have our Brinder Ball, 2 2. And you can sacrifice it to gain 4 life. And we have our Yellow War Elves. And for the green spells, we have Titanic Growth, Arachnus Web, Enchant Creature, can't attack or block, and its abilities can't be activated. At the beginning of the end step, if its power is 4, destroy Arachnus Web. We have our Plummet. And next on to our Black. We have another mythic, our Blood Lord of Vesgirth, our 3-3 three, three Vampire with Blood Thirst 3 and Flying. Whenever we cast a Vampire creature, it gains Blood Thirst 3. Let's see how many Vampires we have, which is 1, 2, yep. So for our creatures, we have our Blood Rich Vampire, 3-1 Blood Thirst 1, Child of the Night, 2-1 Lifelink for 2, our 1-1 one, one Flying for 4 mana, we have two of them, our Drifting Shade. And on to our black spells, we have our wonderful Doom Blade, destroy target non-black creature, our Ring Flash, Dark Favor, and Hideous Visage. And next on to our blue, we have our Phantasmal Dragon, our 5-5 five five flying for only 4 mana. But it is an illusion, which means that if it's a if it becomes the target of a spell or ability, we must sacrifice it. Next, we have our creatures, our flyers for our blue, and our two two aether adapt. When it enters the battlefield, return target creature to its owner's hand. And next to our blue spells, we have flight, divination, and ponder for card drawing. Frost Breath, and another Flight. And next on to our white, we have two Stonehorn Dignitary. When it enters the battlefield, target opponent skip his or her next combat phase. Pretty interesting. We have our Elite Vanguard, our 2-1 for 1 white mana, 
basically our Jekyll Pub with no setbacks. We have our zero three Pride Guardian Defender. Whenever it blocks, gain three life. And on to our white spells, we have our Pacifism, our Oblivion Ring, really awesome. Our Spirit Mental, plus one plus one, and has protection from creatures. Our Timely Reinforcement. Yep, and our Life Link. And next on to our colorless, we have our Tran Golem. As long as it is enchanted, yes, plus two, plus two, flying for strike and trample. Elixir, Great Sword, and the Kite Shield. So, yep, the Golem has all its enchantment. Nope, it's not. Nope, sorry, this is equipments and not enchantments. <laughs> so, it's useless to the Golem. And we do have our Drowned Catacomb. Yep. So this is our card pool and I will be building a silk deck out of these cards. So do leave a comment below to let us know what deck you will be building out of this card pool and I will see you guys in a minute. Hi and welcome back. So we have built our deck from our card pool. And we will be going heavy red, white, and one colorless. So just let, let us look at what we have chosen. So our Fury Bond Hellkite will be our bomb, along with Chandra's Phoenix and Volcanic Dragon. Pretty awesome combination of flyers with haze and blood thirst. So it will be really good to get this out as fast as possible. And next we have our lightning lightning elemental, our 4-1 haze. Really awesome. Anything with haze would and flying would make the blood thirst even more awesome. We have our Gohan Minotaurs with blood thirst as well. Our Goblin Fire Slinger to deal one damage to target player. So we try to make sure that we have some consistency in getting our blood thirst ability to trigger. We have our Fiery Hellhound for some early gameplay, Goblin Arsonist as well for the early gameplay and our Blood Thirst mechanics. We have Crimson Mage. So basically this would let us have haste for all the late game creatures that doesn't. We have our Incinerate for creature removal, Fling as well, and Shock. All these will be able to help us ping off creatures or to also trigger our Blood Thirst. Next we have our Goblin War Pain, plus two plus two and have Haze, our Fire Breathing, Act of Treason for some control, and finally our Chandra's Outreach for some removal. And next on to our White Spells, which is mainly just four cards. We have our Pride Guardian, 0-3 Defender for early play. We have our Elite Vanguard, 2-1 for one mana. For our pacifism for control. Oblivion Ring. Another control card. And finally, we oops, we missed two. Yep, we have our Spirit Mental, which is really good, plus one plus one, and has protection from creatures. And we have our timely reinforcement. And lastly we have our Tran Golem. So I just put this in for some flavor. It's a 3 3 golem. So if I put like fire breathing on this, which is just a 1 mana enchantment, or uh, I could put a uh, spirit mental plus 1 plus 1 has protection from creatures, and this would be a totally ridiculous card to face. <laughs> yep. So this is our silk deck. Let us know in the comments below what you guys think about it. And also, how would you build this deck out of the card pool? So that's it for this episode. If you like to support our channel, do hit like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.